some sewing machine vocabulary. First we have the power switch. This is how we turn the machine on or off. Here's the spool pin. Spool pin. Thread guide. Thread guide. This is the tension regulator. It controls how tight the top thread is. Remember, low or looser. So the higher the number, the tighter it will be. Lower, looser. <clears throat> this is the thread uptake lever. You want this to always be at the top. That shows that your stitch cycle has been completed. These are also thread guides. Needle. Machine needle. Presser foot. This one is the button presser foot, but you can change the presser foot. Presser foot lifter. You put it down to sew, but you can also lift it up to make it a little higher if you need to. Needle plate. This has the guides for the seam allowance that you can follow. Feed dogs. Feed dogs move the fabric through the machine. And this is the feed dog lowering mechanism. If you don't want the feed dogs to be running your fabric through the machine, you can move that metal lever and change it. This is useful especially with quilters when they want to draw designs on the quilt that they're making. Um, they can control where the fabric goes instead of it just being fed through in a straight line. Reverse lever. Push it down to go back and do the back stitch. Bobbin winder. Bobbin winder. Tension spring that you use for winding your bobbin. Tension spring. This is a balance wheel or hand wheel. You have to remember you have to pull it out to disengage so you can wind your bobbin. This is the bobbin case where your bobbin goes. This is another view of the bobbin case inserted into your machine properly. And that's the bobbin compartment where your bobbin case and bobbin go. We have stitch selector. Stitch selector, the letters correspond with the chart <clears throat> there on your sewing machine. Stitch selector. Stitch length regulator. Length. Stitch width regulator. Width. That's your sewing machine vocabulary. I hope you know a little bit more about your machine now.